My name is Safa Herfat. I'm uh, with uh, MSF uh, RSP project here uh, with the Reconstructive Surgery Hospital here in Amman, Jordan. We're exploring how we can use 3D technologies such as 3D scanning, 3D design, and uh, 3D printing uh, to deliver prostheses. The goal would be to increase access uh, to prosthetics. The focus is mainly on upper limb uh, prosthetics. Uh, we are exploring different solutions that uh, we can provide the patient from uh, cosmetic solutions such as this to different terminal devices that can be removed and uh, uh, designed specifically for the patient. For each patient, we sit down uh, with my colleague uh, Pierre Moreau and interviews them uh, to determine their current condition and um, the specific activities that they would like to restore in their lives, such as uh, driving a car or uh, working in the field or uh, working in the home. We are looking to design devices or terminal devices or tools that can be delivered to patients in austere environments or areas where there's limited or no access to prosthetic care. There are certain advantages to using 3D printing. So the logistics uh, can be uh, easier. Rather than stocking up on inventory of different devices, uh, we're able to uh, design on-site if needed or remotely, and then have a printer on-site with some of the uh, filaments, the plastic filament uh, material available. And from there, we can pretty much prototype, or in this case, uh, manufacture uh, a custom device for each patient on site. So we are going to match the color and to try to see which uh, which color is matching the most. Okay, it might be the kit. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, one of our goals is to keep things simple. So rather than uh, exploring electronic solutions or very complicated uh, solutions, we want to keep things as simple as possible, but also durable. This is a cost-effective solution. Uh, this hand right here can cost you $20 uh, rather than the hundreds of dollars a, a normal upper limb prosthesis would cost. But it also has the advantage of being lighter. That can be a huge factor in the adoption rate of an upper limb prosthesis. If it's really heavy, uh, and cumbersome uh, to wear, then the patient will likely not adopt it in the long term and set it aside. So as an engineer, this uh, is an incredible resource because I can prototype something and send it to the printer and potentially print it same day rather than me designing, sending out to a fabrication facility, waiting for that lead time to come back so we can work much more efficiently.